guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I picked one of my favorite undisclosed locations because I love the scenery with the palm trees and boy oh boy am I a proud papa because I have my very own 2020 Shelby GT350R Heritage Edition. But before we dive into my new love, let me first of all thank each and every one of you for helping to make this possible. You know what the Shelby GT350 and the GT350R means to me, not only in its current form, but also going back to my father's 1969 Shelby GT350. Waking up every Saturday, we would go get breakfast and then go for a ride in his Shelby GT350. Brings so many memories. And when the GT350 in its current state was unveiled in 2015, because this is a five year production run, 2015, 2020 is gonna be the final year. When I saw it in 2015, I just, it, it made my jaw drop and I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to finally get one. But like I said, thanks to all your great support, you're on this journey with me and this is just gonna be one of the many steps along the way. This is the official unveil, the official review of this car. A lot of you have been waiting for it and I'm here to deliver. And like I said, five year production run, that voodoo engine, that flat plane crankshaft, just a direct connection to that original 1965 Shelby GT350. Love the history with Carroll Shelby. Love the history with Ken Miles. Remember, it was all because of uh, Ferrari, Ford versus Ferrari, that, that new movie that recently came out, that Ford decided late through the run of 2020, we're gonna make a heritage edition. We're gonna make a special edition. Now there's no actual hard numbers yet on how many of these GT350s and GT350Rs have been produced in the heritage edition scheme, but we're guessing that R alone, you're looking at probably around 20 to 25, because remember, the pandemic has messed up production, and also because this was not introduced until early January, did a lot of people get an opportunity to get one. So let's go ahead, we're gonna dive into this car and find out why is it my dream car, that obtainable dream car, why is it so special, and really just sharing her with all of you. So let's go ahead and dive into my Heritage Edition Shelby GT350. Now, like I pointed out in another review, and I'll leave that one at the end of this one, what makes the Heritage Edition unique? Wimbledon white, Garsman blue racing stripes, same exact color as Ken Miles. Remember Ken Miles from the Ford versus Ferrari movie? He not only did the development work and was the driver of a Ford GT40, but also turned the Mustang from a secretary's car into a race car. So right up front, I love on the GT350, how they have the older style headlights, the headlights that came out from 2015 to 2017. You have that projector beam. You also have your LED uh, tri bar set up, that daytime running lamp, really gives it a wonderful look. We work our way down. You have some more exterior lighting, and then you're gonna have full functional venting. Now, one of the zonks is, instead of it being plastic, I wish that it was a wire mesh similar to what's on the GT500. I feel like that would have been a little bit better way to go from a look standpoint, but still fully functional. You're gonna get air that's gonna fly, uh, flow down the side. And then what makes this a GT350R, one of the things is gonna be this massive front splitter. So this is standard front fascia. The GTR, uh, excuse me, GTR, GT350R comes with a front splitter that extends out all the way across. So when we get to the center, you can see that you got that same design. Now for 2019, they made some changes. You see behind the, the grill mesh here, you have the plastic and it's actually, it's actually closed off. They found that that creates better airflow than if you just had it all open. It kind of force feeds. It makes a nice um, uh, vortex of a movement with the air. On the Heritage Edition, you are gonna get the Garsman Blue Shelby GT350 badge. Normally on an R, this would be bright red. On a standard GT350, it is silver but really the Garsman blue with the racing stripes fit it to a T and same design down below. Everything is functional. Stripes go all the way across the top, very low, very wide. Now, believe it or not, the Shelby GT350R sits lower than any other Mustang, including the GT500 with the carbon fiber track pack. So that really shows that nice low wide stance. Obviously, got to be very careful not to damage this front splitter. It costs retail about $1,200. Now, when we go up onto the hood, you'll see that we have our functional heat extractor, the racing stripes going over the hood. We're going to take the cold air, take that hot air out, 
really, really fits the lines. I love the way you have this U-shape indentation, really fits it perfectly. Now, coming around the bend, when we talk R, we're talking about carbon fiber wheels. So this is the first actual regular production vehicle to have carbon fiber wheels. There's a little bit of a smudge mark there, a little bug. I got that bug out of there, but carbon fiber wheel. Yes, there were other vehicles, but those were boutique cars. This is a normal production car, carbon fiber wheel, 19 inch wheel. Behind there, you're gonna have those 15 and a half inch rotors. So the size of a pizza that you ate last night, probably bigger than the pizza. Yeah, I'm looking at you, you ate that pepperoni. That's that huge pizza. What's nice is, is that it's two piece. So you have the aluminum hat, that's gonna help with cooling. And then you're gonna have fully ventilated rotor and then check out the massive Brembo calipers that are gonna squeeze down on that pizza and just get all that cheese just nice and hot and gooey. I love some gooey cheese on a pizza and I definitely love those Brembo calipers. Now wrapped around these 19 inch wheels are gonna be those super sticky Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. So this is a Michelin track day tire. You're only gonna be able to get 10,000 miles if you drive this on the road on a regular basis, but on the track, you're gonna get extra stick, extra grip. Behind each of the fenders, you get that Magna Ride suspension. On the R, everything's been tuned. It's been heightened from the GT350 for that track duty, but definitely you could see the gap, very minimal compared to any other Mustang because of the springs and everything that it's sitting on. And I just love the blacked out Ford logo and really the multi-spoke wheel just sets it off. Now, as we go down the fender, you're gonna have a functional fender vent, GT350 badge, which is your standard badge. And then we have the GT350 Garzman blue stripe that goes all the way down the side. You can see that beautiful sill. Remember, the Shelby GT350 is the only one, the only Mustang that has these fenders. The car actually is about two inches wider than your standard Mustang GT. And these fenders are unique to the 350. You got blacked out on the mirror caps and the Garzman blue stripes coming all the way back. Now get ready for a zonk. Besides up front, not having wire mesh, it's got the plastic grill inserts. They decided for 2020 to bring the shark fin antenna. I don't know why Ford did that, but that's definitely a zonk. If you look at any other previous year or even earlier models in 2020, it's a small little almost like hockey puck design. Definitely kind of just sticks out like a sore thumb. So that's going to be a zonk. At the tail end of the business, you can see out back we have 315. So 315 on the width, obviously going to help get us the traction to the ground. And really just, I love the way the Cup 2 tires look. Not a lot of tread really shows that track presence. And remember, it's a slim 30 series sidewall. You still got that two piece rotor, nice four piston caliper, and still 15 inch. So 15 and a half inch rotors up front, 15 inch rotors out back. You can see how they flare out the rear. They bring some of that plastic to kind of cover some of that rear tire because it is so wide. When we get to the back, what do we have? We have a carbon fiber rear wing. Now, if you're wondering, Joe, the wheels are carbon fiber, the spoiler's carbon fiber. Why is it painted? Why do they paint it? Why do they not just leave it like the, like the GT500 carbon fiber track package? The reason why is, is because it's actually cheaper. When you are working with carbon fiber, if you're gonna put clear over it, you gotta make sure all of the manufacturing processes are totally smooth. By painting it, you're still getting the great use of carbon fiber, it's lighter, but you don't have to have it so perfect and that's gonna help with the cost factor. So that's why it's painted black, but this is unique to the GT350 only. Of course, out back, you're gonna get that Garzman Blue Cobra badge. Remember, like I said, on a regular R or a standard GT350, it's either red or silver, this is unique. And like I told you at the start of the video, we're looking at around 20 to 25 Heritage Edition R's built, and that's it. This is a one-year thing only, and it's the end of the GT350. Now, as we drop down, unique to the GT350 is this rear diffuser area. Behind the center here, you have a diff cooler. You got lots of coolers. You got an engine oil cooler. You got transmission cooler. You got your diff cooler. You got your quad tip exhaust with that active valve, so you could go loud and piss everybody off with that Voodoo engine, or you could quiet her down a little bit. But I love that same, uh, design to the the mesh of course it'd be cool if it was wire mesh but you know what it's still functional still flows right and just out back you can see the width and the tri bar tail lights obviously they light up in unison just like the classic mustangs of the past but why don't we go ahead let's get to the crowning jewel 
of this Shelby GT350, my Shelby GT350. Let's pop the hood and see that voodoo engine. All right, guys, sun's coming out. Ken Miles and Carol Shelby are smiling down upon us because guess what? We have the hood open. You do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk that. I wish they would at least move it a little bit further out of the way, but you can see underneath the hood, here is that functional heat extractor up top, but the good stuff is as you drop down. That is that 5.2 liter Voodoo engine. So what makes it a Voodoo is this is the one and only engine built by Ford that is a flat plane crankshaft. So what that means is this engine redlines at 8,250 RPM. It's 526 horsepower, not a lot of torque, but that's not what this engine's about. It's 429 pound-feet of torque. The car weighs around 3,600 pounds. One way and one way only to get your transmission. It is that slick shifting, six-speed Tremec gearbox. MPGs, if you're really worried about that, you're probably looking at the wrong car, but you're looking at 14 in the city, 21 on the highway. Some of the suspension changes that were new for 2020, 2020 specifically on the GT350R, is you have a new updated steering rack, electronic, electric revised steering settings in that rack. You have a redesigned high trail uh, steering knuckle. And those are parts that were actually taken from the GT500. I like Victor just showed you the builder. This was actually hand assembled by one person over at the Ford plant where they build the engines. So it's nice to have that person's name there. I love the massive strut tower brace that says Ford Performance. It's a Ford Performance vehicle, obvious, obviously. You have your open air box with your air filter element in there. You can see just how massive all the tubing is going towards that throttle body. And another thing I love about this over the Mustang GT, no plastic cover. You could see the intake plenum looking good, that powered by Ford on the cam covers. It's just unbelievable that after all this time reviewing all these other Shelby GT350s, I could say that this one is mine. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up my Shelby GT350R and hear that voodoo magic. guys we're inside my shelby gt350r heritage edition i know you're probably saying well joe i want to live the dream like you how much is a shelby gt350r heritage edition the way that i optioned it which was actually bare bones this is the most bare bones gt350r you could get without adding the heritage edition i didn't want the bno sound system i didn't want any carbon fiber so with the heritage edition package and the optional R package, the GT350R package, you're looking at an MSRP of around $76,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels, you do have soft touch material across the whole top. One of my favorite parts is I love the Alcantara. The red contrast stitching looks really perfect on the R. Armrest is soft, and then you're gonna get a smaller pocket. We're not putting anything in there. No Twinkies, nothing. You're not eating my car. That's, that's the bottom line. We're gonna have to eat in another car or eat outside or eat in a house. When we get to the dash, you'll notice the unique GT350R chassis number badge in the heritage blue. This is the exact finish. Underneath the badge, this is the exact finish that the designers wanted. Now, the reason why I did not get the carbon fiber is that nothing here creates glare. Think about that. When you're doing your track day, when you're going down your favorite twisty road, you don't want shiny carbon fiber to, to, to blind you. So this is why I left it exactly the way the designers wanted it. Oil pressure and oil temp, two of the most important readouts that you're gonna get in a performance car. You got your eight inch infotainment system. Now here's a little fun fact. The early R's actually came with no radio and no AC. You actually had to pay extra to put them back because it is now mandatory to have a backup camera. That's why this is now in the car. So it is a touch screen. You could go through your AC controls, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I don't have navigation. I don't have uh, blind spot monitoring. None of that did I option into the car. I wanted just a standard GT350R. You have your AC controls, no heated seats or ventilated seats because we're going Recaro's. Nice aluminum start-stop button with the red trim. I love the P51 
fighter plane style toggle switches. You got launch control. We could open and close the exhaust, shut the traction control off. Little tiny cubby here. I might put some Jolly Ranchers. That's okay. You can suck on a Jolly Rancher in here. Just don't choke on it. USB and a 12 volt. And then this is the magic. This is that Tremec six speed, nice short throws, very crisp, awesome, awesome transmission. One of my favorite transmissions I've ever driven in my whole entire life. Now, one of the things I like on the R is how they take the red stitching all the way. You have a nice little knee bump pad for your passenger and there's one for you, the driver, with the red stitching. Soft touch here, semi-soft up here, two cup holders. I'll let you drink some water, that's about it. Soft here, the Zonk is, they should have made the stitching red. Red, red. Why are you giving me stitching that's black and stitching that's red? Make it all cohesive. We open this up and this is where you're gonna put all those time slips from at the track, just fill it up. I got a USB in there, which is great. And then really my favorite part, besides the steering wheel, are these seats. The R badge embroidery, all one piece Recaros with the Recaro embroidery, the stitch work, the Alcantara, perfect amount of bolstering, manual controls because we're trying to cut weight in this car. And the great news is, is this. For the Heritage Edition, this seat is unique to this trim. If this was a standard R, all of this would be bright red. So you would see a lot more bright red on the seat. It's all charcoal gray and black, which I love. I'm actually gonna pull the seat forward without hitting myself in the head so that Victor could show off that there's no back seat. So in an R, you're saving yourself the weight, no cushion, no sound deadening, no belts, none of that junk because it's just you, your passenger if you're bringing one, and that's about it. We'll put the seat back later, not even worry about it. Plenty of headroom in here. Put your helmet on, go do your track day, but why don't you come over to the business end because I want to show you behind this Alcantara and leather lace steering wheel coming over. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. No memory seat settings. It's all manual controls. You got your Ford Performance badge on the sill. And if you notice, I already went out and got my WeatherTech floor mats. A little bit of a dead pedal. I do wish there was a larger dead pedal, so I am going to zonk that, but I love the pedal placement. Perfect for heel toe downshifting, like the brushed aluminum on it. You can see how high the bolstering comes. I think it fits perfect. You definitely want to sit in one before you go out and buy one to see what is the right seat for you. You do get your Shelby specific key fob with the buttons on the back. And my wonderful wife, Lori, got me this for Christmas, that classic Cobra, just to remind me of the past. That's why this car is so perfect for me because it's the perfect combination of past and present. Speaking of the present, here's a gift, the steering wheel. Love the Alcantara, flat bottom. I got that Cobra there. It could bite my neck and just give me all the venom. I don't give a damn because I love this car. You have your mode selectors here. Change up the settings for your suspension, steering, and then the dash. Guess what? No digital dash, and I don't care. I love the analog tack, analog speedometer, and then the center there, you have a digital display where I could go through different gauges, different readouts. That's what makes this car our true performance car, is you get all the readouts you need exactly when you want them, and that's gonna allow you to make sure that everything is running good as you're turning those laps. One of my favorite parts is sitting behind the wheel and seeing those Garzman Blue Racing Stripes. Just a classic combo with the Wimbledon White. We're not gonna worry about the trunk because I'm not using it besides to put the car cover in there. And other than that, I'm ready to take this for a drive. So if you're ready, get your towel ready. Do I have my towel? I got my towel ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go get some eargasms and take my GT350R for a spin. All right, guys, I actually waited for a sunny day. It started raining. Uh, yesterday when we got done filming, I wasn't able to get the drive. I got my Shelby hat on that my wonderful, beautiful wife Lori got for me. Uh, but we are ready to uh, do some on throttle in my Shelby GT350R Heritage Edition Resonators Delete Six Speed. It's magical. But if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! On rails.
Shelby GT350R down some nice twisty bits and I'm telling you right now, she is so hooked up. Such a difference from a GT350. Having the Cup 2 tires, having the wonderful grip, those mini 315s out back, the carbon fiber wheels, I cannot, there's not enough words in the English language to translate how good the front end feels, how good I feel being behind the wheel of this car, and I'm just so glad to be able to share with you. That's what makes it so awesome, is that none of this would be possible if it wasn't for all of you. The thing that I've always liked about the Shelby GT350 and GT350R, as you know, it's the chassis is so balanced. It's so hooked up. You, you feel like you're, you're putting on the perfect glass slipper. I feel like Cinderella. I really, really do with this amazing car and having the Heritage Edition just is that cherry on top. It really, really is. All right, guys. I can't get enough of this. On throttle. style shift lights and that's it nothing else I don't need speed I don't need what the speed limit is I don't there's no lane keep assist on this car there's no blind spot monitoring it's just me her and you guys along for this amazing drive that's all I need all right guys here we go once again roll on throttle I love her so much. I love her so much. Yep. This was the one. This was the one. Alright guys, one more time. Here we go. On throttle. Look how balanced everything is. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just so grateful for this. And I'm just so glad we got the first review done. We're gonna get back to the undisclosed location. There's gonna be more drives. Oh man, I can't wait to share more, but we're gonna get back to undisclosed location, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, that was a special moment. That was really, truly an honor to take you for the official first ride in the GT350R. Besides the stuff I've already done at Walker Ford when I took delivery of her, this was the first review that I know many of you have been waiting for. I've been waiting to bring it to you. I've been waiting years to get behind the wheel of my very own. I always thought it was gonna be a GT350, but you know what? Being able to go GT350R and Heritage Edition is just a cherry on top. Actually, three cherries on top. Put a Twinkie on top, the hell with it. Have you ever seen a cake with a, with a Twinkie on top? That's, that's the Radies Rides cake. But is the GT350R faster than a ZL1 Camaro 1LE? No. Is it faster than a GT500? No. Do I care? No. This car has such a unique personality. You know through all the reviews why this car meant so much to me and it's just so great to be able to experience it with you. And really at the end of the day, I have all of you to thank and I'm very, very grateful for all your support. Of course, I gotta thank Weston Walker, Frank Walker and everybody over at Walker Ford also being very helpful in making this dream a possibility. This is the first of many reviews. There's more to come. Is it my dream car? Yes. Is it a dream car you should aspire for as well? Yes, it's a wonderful experience. But if it's cars like these, like my Shelby GT350R that you wanna keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content like this and bringing it to you, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Crown Vic. You know what? He had to bring two towels. He actually had such a bad eargasm on that drive. We had to get him an extra towel. Vic, we're gonna get you out of hospital soon. I know the towel isn't working, but thank you for your hard work and sticking through it. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.